Hello everyone, how are you? Hope you are doing well. In this lecture, we are going to talk about genomic imprinting. One of the craziest phenomena that goes on is the genomic imprinting is a process where uh, the understanding of genetics seems shaky for us. You'll understand why I'm saying this. Because genomic imprinting is a process of expression, parent-specific manner. Now, what do you mean by expression in a parent-specific manner? What is genomic imprinting? As I mentioned, expression in parent specific manner now what do you mean by expression of parent specific manner normally what happen is that uh, we when we talk about genetics let's imagine there is one particular gene uh, let's say gene a uh, gene a is normally healthy it's a good copy small a is a faulty copy now if let's say an individual have capital a capital a another individual has capital a small a the idea is that if an individual has capital a small a it still has a one good copy of the gene uh, so it can work no issue uh, so basically it will always try to provide the impact of the good copy of the gene so that's why we have two sets right one from the father one from the mother for all the somatic cells uh, or, or autosomal uh, chromosomes that we are talking about so for the autosomal chromosomes we have two sets one from mother, one from the father. And what uh, we do is basically if one of the gene is faulty, still we can survive exactly as normal person without any issue because the other gene will compens uh, compensate for it. But the issue is that if I received both the faulty genes, then I'll show the disease. That's normal genetics. That's our understanding, right? But what happens is that sometimes uh, some genes are tagged with one particular pattern of expression for example IGF IGF uh, all capital I should write IGF insulin growth factor IGF is tagged for a paternal imprinting that that for example here IGF insulin growth factor is paternally imprinted means it will be expressed from the chromosome obtained from the father only not from the mother try to understand this it will, hard, it will be hard to digest, but try to understand. So that is known as imprinting. Imprint means you are uh, stamping something. You are tagging something. You have to put a stamp on someone and say, Look, this gene imprint has been imprinted. This will not be expressed from the father's origin. There are other genes which will not be expressed from the mother's origin. We call it maternally imprinted. So there are two types of imprinting. Pattern line imprinting and maternal imprinting. Paternal imprinting means jo specific genes, hai, jo product of which father origin se express hoga, mother origin se bilkul express nahi hoga. Or maternal, matla mother origin se to express hoga, father origin se bilkul express nahi hoga. Right? So what we know here is basically this uh, example of pattern and imprinting. And what happened is that uh, one particular expression will be done. Now why this thing happens? Why sudden genes are imprinted? And this imprinting pattern is regulated by epigenetic modification epigenetic modification okay uh, for example histone modification histone acetylation methylation deacetylation all these things dna and uh, what we can say the nucleosome remodeling all these thing matters a lot in order to differentiate between an imprinted gene and a non imprinted gene because it's very difficult to differentiate right it's very important also to differentiate between an imprinted gene and non imprinted gene so how can we uh, differentiate with the help of this idea of epigenetic modification so whenever there is an epigenetic modification so there will be two set of genes right one set will be highly modified epigenetically any sort of histone modifications or dna modifications will be done there but all are epigenetic modifications and the other one without any modification. So we can clearly say that this is imprinted one. This is normal one. That's how we can distinguish. So what are the important parameters? What are the important points to consider when understanding genomic imprinting? Here are the states. Genomic imprinting is explained what it is in simple words. And uh, we know that there is a there's parental alleles that will always be expressed. Either of the parental alleles. So parental allele means it will be expressing from the father origin. So we'll call it. Pattern, uh, paternal imprinting or from a mother origin we we'll call it maternal imprinting and as it is expressing from only one allele either from the father or from the mother origin what are alleles remember if there is a one gene and there are two versions of it father and mother version they are known as alleles so for one gene there are two alleles 
right so between the two alleles remember these are the two alleles this is one this is two and i said that one the first one is imprinted because it's highly modified epigenetically and the second one is less modified so between the two alleles only one allele is being imprinted so no matter this is how much normal this this other allele seems but it will never express it will only be expressing the imprinted allele that is imprinting that's why it's marking something even though you have a good copy if your imprinted gene is faulty it will result in a faulty offspring that is the idea of imprinting so we call it monoallelic expression monoallelic mono means single allelic means between two alleles the expression will not be counted based on two alleles because we generally count it based on two alleles if both are good let's say a is good good copy or healthy copy fine small a is bad copy or faulty copy if we get capital a capital a is well and good no issue if we get capital a small a still two alleles are there so between capital a small a small a is bad but one good copy is present so again it's good no issues and if it gets small a small a then it will be bad right but if it is imprinted that only between these two alleles it will only consider the left one means let's say paternal allele then this one is good this one is also good this one will be bad but if it says is maternally imprinted and will only only consider the right side of the alley which comes from the mother then you say in this case will be good the normal offspring in this case it will also be bad because this is carrying a faulty allele as it carries a faulty allele no matter whether there is a good allele it will not express it will only express the maternal origin because it is maternally imprinted यही बात होता है इम्प्रिंटिंग की सोच लो जान लो ये सबसे इंपॉर्टेंट बात है यहाँ पर मेरे पास हेल्दी कॉपी है हेट्रोजाइगस में एक हेल्दी है एक नॉन हेल्दी है तो हेल्दी से एक्सप्रेस हो जाना चाहिए नॉर्मल होना चाहिए सब कुछ क्या होगा अगर नॉन हेल्दी कॉपी इम्प्रिंटेड रहता है तो वो नॉन हेल्दी हो डिफे फॉल्टी हो कुछ भी हो वहाँ से ही एक्सप्रेशन होगा तो उसका इम्पैक्ट जो है खराब ही आएगा ओके दैट इज द आइडिया सो यू कॉल इट मोनो एलिलिक एक्सप्रेशन now how this imprinting is regulated the imprint is controlled by a region specific region in the chromosome that is known as imprint control region or icr imprint control region this imprint control region regulates and differentiates between the imprinted gene and the imprinted allele and non imprinted allele so basically the allele uh, which is a part of highly modified chromosome that will be imprinted so that will be known as having a imprint control region so imprint control region can set a boundary between the imprinted or highly modified part of the gene and less modified part of the gene so that can be special uh, i mean distinguished with the help of imprint control region so that imprint control region or ir uh, icr actually regulates the process of genomic imprinting now what are the diseases associated with imprinting what happen is that this is a normal set that some genes x y z whatever is imprinted from a father origin so whatever expression from the father father origin is done that will be shown okay so if it's faulty from father origin the offspring will have faulty genes no matter whether the mother provides good and healthy copy right that's normal but what happen is that if it's misregulated so the imprinting is totally not working or disruptively working that some of the portions of imprinting is working some genes that are present from the mother allele is working some gene from the father uh, allele is working that way it can cause several diseases because in our body we don't want to express uh, from two different alleles for a same set of proteins because it's waste of time and energy and everything for the cell so you only want to express it from one origin we keep it uh, keep the other because if there is any damage to the dna so that other homologous pair will help it to recombine and repair the damage but in this case that's not the case so diseases associated with imprinting known as angelman syndrome paderweli syndrome what happens there there is a disruption of the imprinting method as a result uh, the process of imprinting will not work as they supposed to be so as a result of which it creates problem and uh, this imprinting process helps us to understand how one gene is working 
for proper genetic counseling if you are checking out individuals of a family for generations after generations and if it's imprinted it will help you to understand how this gene can transfer from one generation to the next and you can predict the next outcome you can predict that if that individual uh, have a next generation a baby what is the percentage of having one particular gene over the other one particular type of uh, imprinting over the other means basically if there is one gene which is imprinted paternally and if the father had the issue then you know the next generation will show that problem okay that is how uh, this imprinting works that's why imprinting is so important all right so here i'll show you one example of genomic imprinting and how it works okay for for better understanding so let's imagine a situation as i took the example of igf insulin growth factor let's say it's paternally imprinted igf paternally imprinted so it will be imprinted from the father origin not from the mother origin it means it will be expressed from the father origin will be expression from mother origin there won't be any expression okay so let's imagine a situation there is this uh, i'll draw two simple idea here one is let's say this is the sperm and this is the egg okay sperm and egg and you see what happens okay so igf in the sperm is normal copy and uh, in the egg let's say faulty copy so what happened is the next generation the next generation whatever produced they will have a normal feature of igf normal igf without any issue normal igf production the resultant offspring so these are the parents i write it here these are the parents and this is the offspring or there's a next generation a fourth generation this is what happens normal okay now the impact will be visible based on the physical properties for example igf if some uh, let's say some mouse if it's igf deficient then the mouse will be smaller in size not bigger smaller in body mass as well as size okay so that we can easily visualize now another situation if let's say this is a uh, again sperm has a faulty has a faulty alley and the mother in this case has a normal alley. so what happened in the offspring again the offspring be it a uh, male or female doesn't matter so be it male uh, or be it female as the father has a faulty origin both the offsprings will have faulty will have faulty allele as a result is mono allelic because both the offsprings they have two alleles right they have one faulty remember this they have one faulty and they have one normal normal from the mother faulty from the father right so here what happens normal from the mother here faulty from the father but still as it's paternally imprinted they must express it from the father origin and the father origin is faulty so even though it it carries another allele from the mother which is good normal but still it will express the father's faulty allele that's known as monoallelic expression that's a trademark property of genomic imprinting to have a monoallelic expression yahan pe father mein faulty allele tha mother mein normal allele tha to jab mila dono allele mila wahan se normal allele express karna chahiye tha magar fir bhi ye imprinted hai father ke origin se hi express karna hai to faulty allele express karega so what will happen as a igf faulty gene the offspring will be weak less body weight that's one example of genomic imprinting i believe you have a clear understanding of genomic imprinting by now if you understood this video please hit the like button share this video with your friends and watch every single lecture of the genetics series to have a very basic and conceptual understanding of genetics thank you